And here we are, the next match of CKW, Rage in the Cage, live to you from Season 3 of CKW. We have a street fight between the Blood Kaiju, O'Shea Bayek, and this mysterious monster of a man known simply as Van Hellington. O'Shea Bayek did not take being screwed over at Redemption very lightly. He was spit at the mist. He got his head caved in with a kick. And he's calling out the attacker that screwed him out of the match with Joey Spector. And he says he's going to put down Van Hellington here tonight for thinking he can get in O'Shea Bayek's way. God. Live in Rosemont, Illinois at the Allstate Arena. The fans here ready for some CKW action. We just saw Sean Exide survive a cage match. Bayek here. O'Shea says he's going to put down Van Hellington before he becomes too much of a threat for CKW. If there only could be room for one monster here in CKW. And despite the fact that, you know, O'Shea is not so much a monster as like a friendly giant that looks like a monster, if you've seen season two. He's not going to let Van Hellington come in and screw over the company because we've seen enough of that since season one. made his official debut in CKW. Fat Cat on your screen ignition taking on a call out from Joey Spector who did not want the help back at Redemption. A sort of change of heart in Joey Spector calling out Van Hellington only to get his ass handed to him getting the green mist himself kicked upside the head flew over head smashed off a stop sign and he got knocked out cold medical staff had to take a look at Joey Spector after that match and now O'Shea wants to go in the ring with this guy O'Shea trying to make a statement here trying to put down this Van Hellington and here we are with a street fight between two monsters and a punch Two masked monsters, too, mind you. And O'Shea going. Chucking him into the, the knee. Kicking Van Hellington. And now O'Shea going for some sort of weapon outside the ring. He's got... He's got a freaking aluminum baseball... Oh! But Van Hellington would not let him use it. He drops him almost face first onto the bat he brought in. Now he's just strangling him. He's pulling off all those moves he took to freaking Spectre at Ignition. Except it's a little bit more. Oh, he fell on the bat. He fell back first on the bat. And now he's got the... He's got the bat, but he shook off the bat, and he reversed it to get his own bat. Oh! Off the back of the head, and now he's just smacking him inside the back. Oh, he missed the kick. Oh, he missed the swing, but he didn't miss that one. Wait, what the hell? The lights went out. Oh, holy crap! Oh, Shay. Catching him off guard. Dropped him with a back suplex. And he's telling the fans here in Illinois. He's ready to take out Van Hellington. He's got to steal. But no. Off the face. 
a street fight, meaning the pinning can happen. The pin can happen anywhere. Railed him into the frickin' barricade. And he's got the steel. Oh god, no, he got up and stopped. Oh, he fell back first onto his chair. Ooh. Clothesline. Taking down O'Shea. O'Shea's putting up more of a fight than Spectre did. But not by much. He's got the steel chair in the ring. And he's hooked down. He's telling him. And the fans here in Illinois and the Allstate Arena are cheering for O'Shea. And there's that, that stop sign yet again. The same stop sign. Is it the same stop sign? Just, just answer me that. Is it the same stop sign from his match with Joey Spector that was also used against Van Hellington? Are we just carrying around the same stop sign or is this a different one? I don't know. Drops a knee, or a leg. Drops him on the swinging neck breaker. And now he's getting into the ring. He's or he's demanding he get back in the ring. And he smacked him. Wait, what the hell? What in the world is that? The Titantron is just going off with whatever the hell music that is. What the freaking hell? It distracted him. It distracted him. God no. Ah! Onto the steel step. Or onto the steel ch there. Both these men are trying to play games with their opponent, the blacking out. I mean, O'Shea took advantage of it. He must have known that it was going to go out. And then. Oh, God, the missed! Off the ropes, off the ropes! No, one, two, three. And then the Titan Tron went off precisely when Van Halington was able to take advantage, freaking drop him face first onto a steel chair in the steel stop sign. Look at the Shh. And then missed him half to death. And when he kicked him, he ricocheted off the ropes. If they get the replay here, I want to see this. Look at that. He ricocheted off the ropes. His head was hanging on the ropes. God, we got some medical staff ready to be looking at O'Shea outside the ring. O'Shea has never fought someone as dangerous as Van Hellington. Will he ever be the same after this?